Welcome, welcome. For today's video, I'm going to talk about Godzilla Minus One. So, over the weekend, I went to the theaters to see Godzilla Minus One, a movie I've been anticipating since its announcement. And after watching it, it amazed me so much that I have to talk about it. So, let's talk about it. So, the movie is about our protag, Shikishima, a surviving kamikaze pilot who lands on Udo Island after abandoning his mission, then gets attacked by a giant monster aka Godzilla and after all that shit he is dealing with a shit ton of guilt and hard times after Japan lost World War II but during his journey he meets a homeless woman named Nuriko and a baby named Akiki and together they formed a home and a family and so far things have been looking bright as he gets a new job to support his new family however shit hits the fan when Godzilla shows up and wrecks some shit it up. And shit gets personal, so much so that a group of veterans take matters into their own hands as the Japanese government can't do shit and the US is dealing with their own shit with the communists. And so it's up to Shikishima and the veterans to take down Godzilla once and for all. And I gotta say, the movie blew my ass away. For instance, the film was directed and written by Kakashi Yamazaki, who also made the VFX for Godzilla. And I I gotta say the special effects look on point as it sticks to the classic Godzilla design while at the same time making something new and I'm impressed on how amazing this film looks especially with a budget of 15 million dollars and fun fact Yamazaki took inspiration from the original Godzilla movie and Godzilla Mothra and King Ghidorah giant monsters all out attack and you can really see it in certain parts of the film and I gotta say the human characters were really good in this one because normally in a majority of Godzilla films the characters are one dimensional and unlikable and even boring at some points but here you get to know these characters and hell even the supporting characters are likable so much so that you want them to succeed in their mission to destroy Godzilla and I gotta say they also made me like the child actress in this one as in most uh, Godzilla films both from Japan and the US the child actors are honestly the most annoying parts of them but in here the child it gets a decent amount of screen time where you get to care about the child and the child's not annoying in this one hell whenever the child spoke people were gossiping over how kawaii she looks and another thing and it also brought godzilla back to his destructive roots and i'm really happy that a lot of people in the u.s are starting to notice that as one of my biggest pet peeves of the monster universe is that it's trying to portray godzilla as a superhero to these people which i'm like fuck no because any hardcore G fan would know that Godzilla doesn't give a fuck about humans. To him, you're just a fucking pest. So in other words, I am glad that American audiences are starting to see that part of Godzilla and take him as a serious character rather than a goofy one. And speaking of Godzilla being a bad guy, we get to see the amount of damage he can cause and how you actually see people getting hurt in here. As in previous adaptations, you don't get to see that very much. Hell, even the US versions don't show that part. And before anybody bitches me out about the new series, I'll talk about that when the series is over. So yeah, stay tuned for that one. And I gotta say, it was also nice to hear the classic Godzilla sound effects and music, like Godzilla's classic roar, and the music from legendary composer Akira Ifakube. So overall, I love this movie. I love the movie so much from its effects, its story, the characters, and the monster himself. And people have deemed it as one of the best Godzilla movies ever. And I have to agree, it lives up to its name. So if you haven't seen the movie already, go check it out. It is worth a watch to finally see Godzilla in all his glory. So that was the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this. And also, if you enjoy my work, support the channel at Coffee. And for those who don't know, Coffee is like Patreon, but based. There you can support me, and you can have your names in the credits. And if you do support me, thank you very much. I appreciate it very much. And let me end this video in a kaiju way.
Here we go. Kagebunshin no jutsu. 